Okay, and we're here with Mike Smith from, is it Knight's Realm? Uh, Night Realms, yeah. Night Realms. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, this is a live action role playing group, and um, we were just taking a look at these fantastic latex weapons. So why don't you just show us these for the camera? Okay, like this is a dagger. Um, it looks very realistic. It doesn't hurt when you hit. Uh, we really encourage striking motion like this rather than like quick action. Uh, we try not to have too much thrusting because that can be a little bit dangerous. This is a one-handed. Go ahead, you can hit me. All right. All right, didn't hurt. And uh, here's a sword. Has a pretty good reach. Do you want to? Sure, I will. I'm not even a lefty, and I'll whack you back. All go. right. So it's a. It looks realistic, um, but yet it doesn't hurt. Um, it allows us to uh, keep in character, you know. So how did this group get started? Well, this group started in 1997. I only became involved about three years ago. Um, but there had been other LARPs around, mm -hmm. and James Kimball, James C. Kimball, who's, who's here before, he'll be here again later, um, he and another person started the game off. And through a series, through the years, they've uh, adjusted what their rules are to really hammer them out so that this way everything's fair, it's, uh, you know, it's okay. It's everything's fair, everything's balanced, uh, every, no character has any kind of major advantage to be one character class or the other, but rather whatever your playing style is. So I play currently a priest of Chronicler Scholar. Um, I do no combat at all. Um, now I'm going to create a second character, Ogre, who's a brute, and he's just dumb, and he's just a strong arm. So this way I can have a second character that I can have a little bit of fun with, and I don't always have to be stuck writing everything down and following everybody around. Instead, I'm going to actually just get in there and start swinging, so I can play the other part of the game without having to worry about keeping my two characters separate in my mind. So who determines the character's alliance? The person who's playing it, usually. You're talking like good, bad, yeah. neutral kind of thing? Often it's, I, often it's up to you, unless you're playing a priest or a cleric, and then it depends on what god you're following. Okay. And then you really have to adhere to your god, otherwise they'll abandon you. You won't have your powers anymore. You don't want to be abandoned by your god. No, that was odd. <laughs> of course not. No. Can you tell um, her about the changing your character the first time around? Um, yeah, well, yeah, if you just come to one event mm -hmm. and you decide that you don't like it, we let you just rewrite it completely. Rewrite. Um, okay. The second event. Okay. And so you meet about once a month, roughly. Yeah, about once a month. Um, do you have, like, one major event that you, you know, you have several days long? Like that's yeah. uh, No, 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 no. What we have is, no, every time, almost every time we meet, it's just for, it's for a weekend. Okay. Friday night to Sunday morning. Um, occasionally we'll have one day festivals, but we don't um, have like something like Penzig, which goes on for a week. We don't, right. we don't do that. Okay. Okay. And where can we get more information then about your group? Well, we have uh, right here on the back, we have uh, our website, okay. www.nightrealms.com. Great. Um, and if you are interested in coming to our events, uh, one of these will give you 50% off your first, uh, your first visit. Great. So I'll fill these out for you. Well, thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Pleasure. Nice talking to you, Beth. It was nice talking to you.